There we go. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, absolutely creamed that little eye shad. Mm. See ya. There we go. Smoked it. <laughs> oh, Gonzo. Now, I absolutely hate losing fish, but the thing to remember when you're losing fish, you're losing fish, so it's really not that bad. At least you're catching them. And catching them in these back lake gems is generally not the problem. The hard part is getting to them. Fish, good one too. They are stacked up on that shoal. See ya. There we go. God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is a good one. Mm. Wow, there's a good fish right there. Oh, look at that dude. That's the kind of dude that is loaded in these back lakes. There's tons and tons of them, and they're up on these rock shelves, munching and munching in bunches. Awesome, awesome critter. And the cool thing is, they hardly get any pressure. Nobody comes back here. See you later. Every single one of these fish has come off this rock shelf and they're up there and they're up there for one reason and one reason only and that is to munch. You know, that's the age old question in fishing. You hear a lot of people say, well, do you like to fish shallow? Do you like to fish deep? I mean, there's fish that live both shallow and deep. But the one thing I'll tell you about the shallow fish is generally, if a fish is shallow, it's there for one reason, and that is to eat. And these fish today, they're munching. Come here, dude. And hailed it. Dom's all right down his yap. See ya. No, big one. That's a big one. What we got? No, that is not a fish. That is a big one. I did not say it was a fish ever. I said it was a big one. If you listen clearly to the statement, rewind the tape. No, big one. That's a big one. See, big one. I mean, that right there is a world-class stickerel. I don't care who you are. You know, other fishing shows, they won't show you this stuff. You know why? because they have pride. I do not have that. That's the reason I am floating around in a barca lounger and catching stickerel on national television. Here's another one, another one. If I can get a hold of my rod, this feels like a good one. Yeah, it is. It doesn't just feel like a good one, it is a good one. There is a whack of these fish. And, I mean, that is not a super tanker. At no time am I gonna tell you, I mean, that's a Lake Erie class fish. But dude, we're out here literally for less than an hour. And this is nothing short of a whack fest. 